Welcome to the multiply by seven in the Trattenberg speed system of mathematics. So today what I want to do is show you how to multiply by seven is this is your first Trattenberg uh, video. You will see and learn how to multiply by seven using the Trattenberg system. If you've already seen my previous videos, you'll understand that multiplying by seven is very similar to the rules of the other numbers that we've learned to multiply by. So multiply by seven, we want to double the number and half of the neighbor, add five if the number is odd. So why do we use the Trattenberg system? Well, if this is your first video, the reason why we bring in the Trattenberg system is many of us remember how to multiply numbers by just simply saying six times seven, and we remember the answer is 42. However, that doesn't really do us much good after we deal with our single digits or even sometimes our double digits we have memorized, but after that, we're kind of lost. Well, the Trattenberg system, what it does is it gives us a rule hence like our rule number seven, where we can apply it not just to single and to double digits, but to numbers that are very large in length. So let's go ahead and kind of use this rule for our six times seven. Now when using the Trattenberg system, a couple things we're gonna do. We wanna underline our answer because, our under, uh, underline our number, because we're gonna put the answer directly below. We like to put a zero in front, and that's gonna allow us to represent numbers as neighbors. Now, a neighbor is the number that's directly to the right of our number. So if I look at 6, 6 does not have a neighbor. There is no number directly to the right of 6. However, I put the 0 in front of the 6, so therefore I can represent 6 now as a neighbor. So to follow this rule, I'm going to double 6, which gives me 12. And I can't add half of this neighbor because there's no neighbor, so I'm going to just say 12. Now, to carry the 1, we're going to make a nice little dot. Now I move over to zero, the next number. So I say double zero, which will give me zero. Add half of the neighbor, which is six. Add half of six, which is three. But then three plus the carried over one, which will give me now four. So you can use the Trattenberg system to multiply single digits, but it's better used when we can use them on very long numbers. So let's go through a couple practice problems so you guys can see how I use the system. So the first one, I'm gonna to wanna to multiply 428 times 7. So I'm going to want to underline the answer, or underline our number, and we make sure we put a 0 in front. So the first thing I want to do is take my first number and double it. So 8 doubled is going to give me 16. I can't add anything, I can't add it to its neighbor. So I'm just going to say 16 with the carried 1. Then I take 2, I double it, which gives me 4, add half of my neighbor 8, of which is an again 4, so 4 plus 4 is 8, plus my neighbor, or plus my carried 1, which would give me 9. I again, then go move over to 4, so I say 4 doubled, which gives me 8, add half of the neighbor 2, which is half of 2 is 1, so I have 8 plus 1 is 9, then I go over to 0, and I say 0 doubled is 0, plus add half of my neighbor, uh, which is 4, so half of 4 is 2, 0 plus 2 is 2. So then, let's look at 358 times 7. Now, this problem is going to be a little more difficult because we are now dealing with some odd numbers. And the reason why odd are going to make it a little more difficult is, one, you notice there's a special rule for odd numbers that we have to add 5 when the number is odd. It's also important for me to mention that when we're taking half of an odd number, we want to round down. So meaning if I'm going to say half of 3, the answer is going to be 1. Or half of 7, the answer is going to be 3. So what we do is instead of saying like 3.5, we round it down to 3. And the reason why we do that is pre pretty much for speed. Um, and we counterbalance that by adding the 5 in the Trattenberg system. So if I look at 8, it's like the first problem. I'm going to double it, which will give me 16. I can't add it to its neighbor because there is no neighbor, but I make sure I make my dot to carry the 1. I take 5. I notice 5 is odd. So I'm going to double it and then add another 5. So therefore, I'm left with 15. Add my half of my neighbor, which will be 4. So 15 plus 4 is 19. Add my carry 1 is 20. So it's going to be a 0. And when you carry two of them, we're going to put two dots now. Then I look at 3. 3 is odd, so I need to make sure I add 5. So I'm going to double my 3, which gives me 6. Add 5, which gives me 11. 
Then I need to add half of 5, which is 2. So 11 plus 2 is going to be 13. Add my two extra uh, carried over 1s, which would be 14 and 15. Then I go ahead and take 0. I double 0, which gives me 0. And I'm sorry. Sorry, that's a 15. I need to make sure I carry my 1. Double, because 6, add 5. Sorry, I forgot to carry my 1. So now I take my 0. I double it, which gives me 0. Then add half of my neighbor 3, which is going to be 1. Add my extra carried 1, which would give me 2. So I have 2,506. So let's go and look at the last number. I'm going to put an underline here. And let's just go and work through it. So I'm going to double 6, which gives me 12. 2 with the carried 1. Now I'm going to double 2, which will give me 4. Add half of the neighbor, which is 7. So I'm sorry, 4. Add half of my neighbor, 6, which is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. With my carried 1, now it gives me 8. Therefore, now I'm going to look at 3. Double it, which is going to give me 6. Add my 5, since it's odd, is now going to give me 11. Half of my previous number, half of my neighbor, which is 1, so that's going to give me 12 with my carry 1. Now I look, take a look at 3, and I double it, which gives me 6. Add 5, which is going to give me 11. Add half of my previous number, half of 3 is going to be 1, so therefore it gives me 12. Plus, my previous uh, 1 is going to give me 13. Now I take a look at 4. I double it, which gives me 8. Add half of my previous number, which is 9. Then I add my carried 1, which is going to give me 10. I take 1. I double it, which gives me 2. Add half of my previous... I'm sorry. Before I add half, remember it's odd, so therefore it's going to give me 7. Add half my previous number, which will be 9. Carry over my 1, which leaves me 10. Then I take 0. I double it, which is going to leave me 0. Add half of my previous number, which is still going to give me 0. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to carry over the 1 again. Sorry about that. So I have 0 when I doubled it. I carry over half my neighbor, which is still 0. But then I have my carried over 1, so therefore that's going to give me 1. So my final answer is going to is going to uh, is going to be uh, one million and three thousand two hundred eighty two. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's how we multiply by seven using the Trattenberg system. You're going to get really quick by it when you practice over and over and over again. And in some later videos, I'll show you what to kind of say in your brain so you can get it done really quickly.